Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Kelly here. I got a problem, man. My my reefer unit won't uh, crane, and I think it's because I think it has something to do with the cold weather. So I'm gonna uh, go through this with y'all and show y'all what I'm gonna do to uh, hopefully get it started. But uh, let me show y'all what it's doing right now. I just now turned it on. Now it's, gonna, it's, it's getting ready to crank. So that's what it's been doing. It's been been uh, trying to crank, but it ain't cranked up yet. So I'm gonna cut this video, and I'm gonna get some things out, and I'm gonna start it up again. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna take the fuel filter off and see what it's looking like. Up. So I think maybe it might have lost its prime. Hopefully that's just it. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime it. Uh, hopefully that'll work. Now this is a 2003 Phoenix Ultra Carrier Phoenix Ultra XL and uh just show y'all what I'm the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off this is a uh, leader valve and then I'm gonna pump down on this until I see fuel come out of this I'll do that right now.
think it did lose its trying because there's nothing coming out right now. You gotta just keep on pumping it, man. So basically what I did was you pump this until you see fluid until you see fuel coming up to right here. Look. No, I seen fuel come out. See that? See that? This is how you uh, prime the reefer unit. Try to crank it now. I got some starter fluid that I'll spray into the into the uh where the air filter is if you don't if it feel, if I feel like it might need a little bit of help. Oh, too soon. because I'm, I'm already checked in waiting on the door.
off and then cut it back on because after it tries to crank three times, it cuts itself off. Finally got it cranked up. Look at that, Look at that mess I made, all that diesel everywhere. Y'all see all that diesel? But hey, oh. Uh, yeah, oh. Uh, whenever y'all are doing that, man, you just gotta stay persistent at it. 
if it don't crank up the first time, you just gotta keep on doing it. I mean, you ain't got no choice, man. You gotta, you gotta get the reefer running. Uh, but uh, shoot, I think I, I think whenever I was uh, after I primed it that first time, I think I lost the prime whenever I was messing with the phone. Shoot, after it, after we went, after I went through a couple of set, uh, of tries of it not uh, trying to of it not cranking. Man, I, I was like, man, now hold on now. I need to put this phone down and get down to business and get, let me uh, put both hands on this, uh, you know, full attention on the reefer. But uh, that's basically all I did was, is, uh, well, actually, uh, actually what I did was I took the, the fuel filter off again, poured half of the diesel out, and then poured, uh, poured uh, filled it up with a 911. And uh, so that's what I did, and then I went through the process of priming it again, and it and it finally cranked on me. I had to I had to uh, spray the spray a little bit more uh, starting fluid in the air filter, and uh, and then it finally crank, cranked up on me, man. It finally started. So uh, yeah, man. If if you find yourself in a situation like that, man, just just try to try to stay calm about it man and, and uh be persistent if it don't work the first time that's all right man just keep just just keep keep giving it a go and uh just keep trying man don't give up and uh hopefully it'll it, it'll start up on you man <clears throat> you know i know it got down to below the 20s last night i'm, I'm still here in denver so I don't know. I mean, whenever I opened up, whenever I first uh, looked inside the fuel filter, the, the fuel didn't look gelled up. So I don't know exactly what caused that issue, you know, but I primed it and, you know, went through, went through all that and now it's running again, man. That, that's the second time I've had to do this. The first time I did it, it was really cold outside. And a matter of fact, it was in, it was in, it was in Colorado too in uh back in uh january and uh man shoot uh it, it it was a lot it was a lot easier that first time this this time right here it, it was more difficult but luckily i had already had the experience of doing it once and i was i was convinced that i could do it the second time just now right here i was convinced that i could do it so you know uh, that's just what it is so like i said i'm i'm here i'm here at lineage logistics man i'm already i've already been checked in i'm waiting on the door right now i'm a, i'm about you know eight hours early but you know still i'm still checked in so it was a real critical thing i, I needed to get the reefer running and uh you know if there's anything i can do on the truck man i prefer to do it myself um, that's just, you know, it's, it, it's about saving money too, but it's just also about the, uh, it's all, it's also about just my mentality, mentality, man. Why am I going to pay somebody to do something if I can do it myself and, 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 and I got the opportunity and the time to do it, you know, um, I don't mind getting dirty, man. I, I got tools, I got tools, I got everything that I, well, not everything. You know, hopefully I got everything I need, but I got a good good selection of tools that I carry with me, and uh, you know, shoot. Uh, but yeah, man, if it got it's, it's it's running. I got it on continuous too, man. I ain't gonna put it on no start stop, man. <laughs> Scared the heck out of me. <laughs> Go down the road, man. Be under a load and then not crank, man. Shoot, that would, man. I wouldn't want to be in that position, but, uh, shoot, uh, I ain't been putting no, uh, I ain't been putting no, uh, anti-gel in the, in the, uh, in my fuel here lately because it, it ain't been like, you know, really too cold outside, but, uh, I guess maybe I might need to throw some in there. <laughs>